Hello and welcome to this video on how to set up uh, your spot difference competition using PhotoP. So here we have PhotoP and I'm going to load in one of my images. So I use file open, same as usual, and I am going to choose the construction image like so. Oh, not that one. That was a finished one. So I'm going to choose the construction image like so. Now in order to make this a spot the difference what I want to do is have a duplicate copy of this image. So I am going to go to image and canvas size. You can see that the height is 875. So what I want to do is first of all unlink the make sure the ratio is unlinked so I don't want that on so make sure it's unlinked and then 875 times 2 is 1750. So I'm putting 1750 in like that. And I want to make sure that I've selected for the image to be in the center and the top. And I do that now. And you see it's made the canvas twice its original size. What I can now do is I can duplicate the layer and I can move the second layer down here and we're ready to go. Now in order to uh, make sure that your image is going to work correctly, what I would suggest you do is you lock these two layers. That means that now if you try and draw on these two layers in a destructive way, it is locked and it won't let you do it. If you wanted to uh, change part of the image, uh, what you can do is use the tools in a non-destructive way like I've taught you, or if you want to actually paint on the image, you can use the lasso select, for example, and you can, if you want to change this man here, edit, copy, sorry, edit, copy, merged, and then edit, paste and make sure that is moved to the top. Okay, so now what I've got, if I turn off both of these, is I've got this kind of patch which I can edit and I'm not uh, working on the one underneath. If I choose the paintbrush now, I can paint on that layer absolutely fine. And if I hide that layer, you can see underneath it's all okay. If I remove the image underneath, you can see what I've created. This will help you work non-destructively uh, and help you get the best results. Uh, for all of the how-tos, I'm going to post the other video links onto the uh, assignment for the playlist for the other lessons. So you're going to create a spot the difference competition. And remember, I'm looking for using a wide variety of tools. That's number one. And number two, I'm looking for a... Uh, precise and good quality edit. Okay, so wide selection of tools is the first thing, and the second thing is the number of different, uh, sorry, the, the quality of your edit. So there we are, that's what I'm looking for, and hopefully uh, I'm gonna see some really good spot the difference competitions.